Welcome back to Fill in the Gaps. I am Egg, and I have another marvellous guest with me today. Today's guest loves horror movies, makes bomb-ass tacos, and the only thing that they hate more than being asked on dates by customers is people who believe that space is scarier than the ocean. Today's Sorry. guest, Jay. Hi. How you doing? Yeah, I'm pretty good. Ocean's pretty scary, hey. Don't even get me started. That mm -mm, uh, if you are a fan of the ocean, I'm sorry, but water sign to stay away. Yeah, please. Yeah. Oh, don't do well with water sign and customers. Stay yeah. well, kind of stay no, away. No, you come come to me, but the moment you want to try and ask me on a date, please yeah. stay away. Yeah, know your distance. Yeah, know your distance. That's it. That's I won't it. take you for a dance, but I'll take you for a date. Ah, ha, ha. <laughs> Professional dancer over here, of course. Um, before we get into things. Mm -hmm. Christmas and New Year's has just passed. Yes. I hope you had a good break. Yes. I don't know if you got a break, but I hope you had a good break. Somewhat. So I got you the most meaningful present that I could get someone that I've never met before. Please. I would love to see what it is. <gasps> he knew me. <sighs> Ready? Do it. Do it to him. <laughs> there we go. See? And it's my favourite flavour. As we all know, straight white men always listen. So, well, yeah, they yeah they always listen, especially when you say no. Mm. They listen. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> That's a rough one. <laughs> um, yeah, welcome back to Fill in the Gaps. It's been a while. It hasn't, but it's been a while. It's been a while since we were recorded. Um, hope everyone had a great Christmas break, New Year's break. Um, yeah, thanks everyone for supporting the show. New Year, same us. Still doing these things, improving constantly. Um, appreciate all the love. If we could please go like, subscribe, rate, comment, share the show, be a legend, tell a family, friend, dog, auntie, uncle, cat. Friend of a cousin. Friend of a cousin's dog. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Just don't tell Jay. Maybe a ferret. Jay already knows, so don't tell Jay. Tell anyone else. Anyone but me, please. Yes. Anyone but her. <laughs> Hey, sorry. No, you're good. I'm going to fuck this up so Dude, many times. I'm good. so you're sorry. Good. Look. Fuck, I'm going to get cancelled. Shit. Fuck. Shit. You're homophobic. I'm telling the whole queer community. I know. I know. I know. Not it. What if I just call you that bitch for the rest of the... Perfect. Cool. Done. Cool. We'll go with that. Perfect. We'll go with that. Um, yes. How was your Christmas, New Year's? What did you get up to? I thought so. I was just going to say, did you get up to... We got up to the same thing. Thought That's so. crazy. Thought so. What'd no. you get up to? Uh, what did I get up to? Honestly, a while ago, I, know. I think the first week I still did a lot of work mm -hmm. outside of like the club and stuff like that. And I also do have a little retail job too. So nice. got a you know secret identity. Got a key. Mm. Absolutely not everyone knows what I do. <laughs> 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 no, I honestly I think. I just chilled out, hung out with friends, um, spent a lot of time with my little one. Nice. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, did he enjoy Christmas? Yeah, yeah, he did. We had a really, really good Christmas. It was really nice. I did like a different sort of like treasure hunt Christmas thing. Nice. So that was kind of something a bit different. Yeah. He liked that. Yeah. It was better than last year. I'm just going to out myself. Last year, I moved into my new house on Christmas Eve. Congratulations. Literally on Christmas Eve. So I just, before I even set anything up, I put up the Christmas tree because, you know, I want to give the kid the Christmas experience. Have to. If it was up to me, I wouldn't celebrate Christmas. Christmas means nothing to me personally. Yeah. But for my little one, it means everything. Of course. So I set up the tree, everything's great. And then I was like, I'm just going to have a quick lay down. Because mind you, I've been spending all day moving into a house. Mm -hmm. And I lived in my own house, my old house, for like six, seven years. So yep. yeah, bitch is a bit of a hoarder, I came mm -hmm. to the realisation of. So I, did, I did, did all of that. We moved in. After I got in, I was, yeah, like I said, I was going to go for a lay down after I set up the tree. Let's just say that lay down, I absolutely passed out. Mm -hmm. I still had Christmas presents to wrap Ooh. that were not under the tree. Santa. Mm. So I, I, I got a lovely wake up in the morning being like, um, uh, Santa forgot about me. <gasps> it's hysteric. Absolute hysteric. And I was like, nah, 
Santa actually hid the presents. Ooh. We need to go find them. So you go basically gaslit my kid to be like, go around the house searching for presents while I'm out the back, like quickly wrap scissors, paper. Yeah. Rock. Yeah, that one. Yep. Scissors again. Yep. Um, <laughs> but yeah, basically quickly went and wrapped. It was quite hilarious because the, the wrapping was l- quite literally, I'm pretty sure my six-year-old could have done a better job. That's but right. he wouldn't have noticed. No. But the fact that I was very, that was a very proud moment for me. The fact that I wrapped all of those presents so quickly. While, and I was like, oh my God, crazy. Look at under the tree. Damn. Oh my God. Santa, he's done M- it again. Magic. Rudolph and all the other ones. Yeah, and he's the elves and stuff. That's them. Yeah. I was there. Yeah, the elves. Yeah, yeah. You're one of the elves, actually. Yep. One of them elves. One of, not one of those elves. Mm-mm. One of the other ones. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. One of the yeah, the little shit kicker ones. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, well, well done. Well done, well Santa. That, for, for for someone that doesn't even like, I was straight up put that out there. I don't even like kids. <laughs> I don't even like kids. But my kid. Oh. Best friend. Oh, he's my bestie. Yeah. He is literally my bestie. Yeah. And how he, old is he now? He is six, about to turn seven. Ooh. Yeah, he's a big boy. Happy birthday to little homie. Yeah, he actually came home to me the other day. I, was like, I thought it was a quite a cute moment. He goes, Mummy, boys can wear pink and girls can wear blue. Damn right they can. And I was like, yeah, yeah, they can. Yeah, they can. But yeah. it was just like so random and so like bare minimum. But like the fact that he like said that, I was like, yes, they can. Yeah. Pink is a bomb colour. Oh, I don't absolutely. know why people try to deny it's it. Not it's not pink, it's salmon. No, it's pink. I salmon isn't a great colour. Pink is a fantastic colour. See, I like salmon, not pink. So anyway, that's enough uh, time for We're today's gonna podcast. Wrap it up here. <laughs> pink is amazing. I'm I love it. <laughs> I love pink. Salmon's all right, but pink. Is I like better. pink. The person. Fair. She slays. Yeah, she does. She does. She also does those things at concerts where she's just flying around the arena, and which is f- odd. Yeah. Uh, so that's a thing that happens in the world. Look. Clout's clout. That's it. Any clout's good clout. Yeah. That's what they used to say in That's the 20s That's what Lady Gaga said actually once mm, upon a time. Yeah, I don't know if you remember the whole thing when everyone was like, they're trans, they're a man. And she like just went with it because low key, no, they're amazing. Like I love Lady Gaga with my whole heart. But like that ga- gave them a lot of clout because everyone was like, oh my God, they're actually like hiding their identity, which is mm. no one's fucking business. Is Lady Gaga, they, them. I don't actually know. I just assumed that Lady Gaga was yeah. she. I've got no idea. Yeah, that, no, My apologies, that, Lady Gaga. Yeah, we sincerely apologise. What would you rate Lady Gaga on a scale of 1 to 10? 10 being the most beautiful person to ever exist. So don't give me some shit about, oh, she's a 12, okay? What would you give her a 1 to 10? What form of Lady Gaga? Or just like in general? The best form. Oh, oh, okay. Her in Hotel in American Horror Story, yeah. 10. I would. Uh, she was born for that role. Like she was literally See, born. You, you and my missus would get along <sighs> very well because that's the same answer that she has. Yeah, she literally. It basically, she came out the womb, and she basically should have just been put into hotel. Mm-hmm. That's just how it should be. Yeah. That was one of, like, because I remember when that came out. I'm pretty sure I identified as like bi, mm-hmm. and then when that came out, I was like. I really, really love women. Mm-hmm. Sorry if they go by they them. But, yeah, the, when I seen that, I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> my actual... You went from having the white cans of Monster to the blue ones. To the blue you ones, just, yeah, yeah, and I couldn't go back. Yeah, yeah basically. Yeah. basically. I think, actually, no funny on that topic, how I realised, everyone talks about their, their, like, crushes or, like, what was the girl crush that you had that you realised... Mine was the um, the fish from Shark Tale. Why was I attracted to a fish? I don't know. I haven't seen it, but just the fact that it was a fish, that's enough for me. No, le- okay, let me find. I need to show you guys a photo. <laughs> no, no, no. Because if you see, she's a sexy I'll, fish. I'll put a photo right here in the post to edit. Okay, but if you right. want to get up a photo I will, and show I will. me, then I'd appreciate that. Okay, because shark. I also know of someone that has said that one of their first crushes, and to this day they still think is hot, is the um the saber-toothed tiger from Lion King. From, I, no, you mean Ice, no. No, Lion, uh, saber-toothed? 
No. Is it Sabretooth? I don't know. I haven't seen Lion King. Sabretooth is the Ice Age one, I'm pretty sure. Isn't that the one with the big... Like yeah, the I don't know. One of the the bad the bad guy from Lion King. I mean, it looks like a fish, so it's still kind of bestiality, I think. But that's all right. Okay, just out of myself, it's fine. That's all that right. and Christina Aguilera and Burlesque. Let's just yeah, we'll go with the other one. Not gonna lie, I know Christina Aguilera, obviously, but in Burlesque, could not even describe what she looks like at all. I have no idea what she looks like. Sorry, I'm not good with celebrities and movies and shows and okay. all that. Sorry. Look, Just well, for future reference for the next hour well, of this podcast, if okay. you mention anything or reference anything, I have no idea what you're talking about, but I appreciate the thought anyway. <laughs> yeah, the no movie, the no shows. Yep. Fair. Yeah, sorry. Well, here we are. Yeah. Crazy, hey. <laughs> Speaking of, you're a big horror movie fan, is mm-hmm. that right? Absolutely. I kind of like them. I find horror movies a little bit odd because I just laugh at them most of the time. Yeah. Because they're so silly. Yeah, that it's very, very, like, I think I've maybe watched maybe two horror movies that have actually scared me, but mm-hmm. even then... What were it, they? It's more of a jump scare. Yeah. Um, and to me, that's not scary. That's just... Yeah. That's just a shock factor. Yeah, yeah. I think that's the only thing for me, like, every horror... Mo- and I've watched some pretty fucked up shit. Mm-hmm. I think the only thing that actually really, and till this day, it's probably not even that scary for, to other people, but for me, because I watched it when I was like eight, and then re- Blue's Clues, oh, <laughs> scary shit, bro. Oh, oh, that man when he comes through that door and he's all like, oh, and when he's like, let's find those. Hey, clues. yo, we got a letter. I was like, hey, you got a letter? What? what? No, that's got to be from so the I'll mafia. Say, Has to be. <laughs> But yeah, no, what are, what were the two movies that you've seen that scared you? The Grudge. Also, if I just sit here doing this, I'm just like having a little tism thing. That's okay. Adjusting. We love the tism. Oh, yeah. I'm sprinkled with the tism. Spoonful Funny of tism fact, makes the medicine go down. Funny fact, I didn't even get myself diagnosed with autism until I got my child diagnosed. Well done. And I was like, hmm, these are looking awfully familiar. Mm. I think I've. I think I feel you, my guy. Have you ever done that color wheel? The color wheel, yeah, yeah. That was that's that's. What I did that ages ago, and I was like, eh, it's just an online thing. It probably means nothing. And then I got my so and me, my workmates, my partner, and my partner's friend all did the test, and we just compared our results. So mine was low levels. Mm. Um, so the one that was like highest was fixations, which makes sense because like NBA and stuff, I can tell you anything about yeah. anyone. Yeah. All the other ones were like either nothing or a tiny bit. I was like, makes sense. A specific someone out of <laughs> us that did it, it looked like it was just a fucking artist color wheel. The whole thing was covered, and we were like, that is the tism right You're there. Like, that is insane. Sprinkle the tism. And back. the thing is, it's not like we're looking at it, we're like, nah, that's not right. We're like, yeah, yeah. I mean, makes sense. So. Makes sense. Well, oh, wait. I, literally, as you were saying that, I was like, I have something to add to that. That's okay. So The Grudge and what was the other movie? Um, The Grudge and... I haven't seen The Grudge, by the way. <sighs> I At first, when you said that, I thought you said The Grinch, and I was like, are you joking? No, The Grudge and Pacifically... Pacifically? Okay. Pacifically? <laughs> that one. Yeah. That word. Indian Ocean Lee, yeah. Yeah, Indi- Indian Ocean Lee. Yeah. Uh, it's the exact scene when, like... TMI, but it's literally like someone a child a child gets drowned with a cat, and then in the next like when he comes back as a ghost, he only like speaks in a cat voice. So he like sits in the corner. And he's like, Wah! so he sat sa- like he sounds like a cat. Okay, so he doesn't speak in. Sp- no, he doesn't speak. He just like he okay. opens his mouth okay. and tries okay. to yeah, speak, yeah, yeah, and yeah. only gotcha. cat right. voice gotcha. words voice. Cat voice. Yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah. And then what was the other movie that scared you? Uh, I was literally trying to remember that. Uh, uh, Don't know. It's forgotten. That's okay. The ADHD is ADHD. So what, what's your favourite? What's your top three horror movies of all time? Or just your favourites if you just want to rattle off some of your favourites? Okay, well, my favourites one... I'll like, see if I know any of them or have seen any of them. I love the saws. I love all the saws. I'm have you seen the new one? Yes. Oh, I God. haven't. Okay, the, I need to. The new one's incredible. Pure because like the first bit, I was like, "What? What is this? This mm-hmm. isn't a saw. Like there was no gore, nothing." I was like, "This is weird." But it just like no spoilers, it please. Bring okay, I'll, I'll, I'll try not to. But okay. it basically brings it all together. All and of the other saws. Yeah, gotcha. and the thing is, they could have cut it off. Like basically, that last saw 
would have perfectly tied it all off and they could never bring up another Saw and it would I would genuinely for someone who's been a Saw fan since they came out it was one of those things that they didn't have to make another one like it would have been a perfect like tie up just briefly what happens at the end of Saw 9 just briefly because I don't know if I've seen it or not because they all kind of mash together. Yeah, because that's the thing is, like, there's a bunch of swords and then they have, like, the jigsaw spiral and other ones. Yeah, but yeah, they're yeah. still a part of the okay, gotcha. thing, but they're technically not, but they are. Okay. They're all bad. So Saw 10 is less of, like, a continuation from Saw 9, but more no. of a wrapping up yeah, of all the swords. Yeah, yeah, it's gotcha. like a wrapping up. Okay. And it basically, this isn't spoiling, but it basically just puts the outlook of why John is the way he is. Gotcha. Which I'm like, look, I personally think he's just a little bit misunderstood. Yeah, he'd be doing some messed up stuff, but some of the things, like when there's people in there and like you find out what they've done to like be in there, like there's like some people in there that I'm like, oh, I definitely would be in there if I were me. <laughs> but like some of the stuff that people have done that's actually really, like I think there was one thing that someone I think they, like, stole something from a shop or whatever. I was like, okay. But the other guy, uh, there was, like, I don't know, something, whatever he did was really bad. And I'm just sitting there like, no, you you cannot pass that test. Like, mm mm-mm. So looking back at that, without sounding like an absolute psychopath. That's okay. I see why he did it. And, like, you know, when the people... Because even in, like, the other swords, like, the later one, like, the newer ones, not the, like, newest, when they do, like, all the survivors come together Mm -hmm. and they talk about their stories and they, like, generally say how much. Not saying that, like, you know, everyone needs to experience that. But it does, because people take advantage of life so much and, like, the meaning of life and value of life, Mm -hmm. you know. And so it really, I guess, any kind of near-death experience Mm. put your perspective on that differently yep. which i'm sure we have all had one of those maybe have you had any near death experiences i don't think so i don't think so i've been quite lucky mm. i mean i'm a straight white male yeah. that mm. pretty unlucky i mean i draw a hard card in life <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you <laughs> oh yeah yeah <laughs> no entitlement never <laughs> never no privilege none <laughs> Get out. yeah because um I remember, in, I can't remember which saw because they all kind of blend together, mm. but um, there's like that one, it's the one with the needles, how she goes into the pit of needles oh, and yeah. everything. Fun fact, they actually use yes. real needles. Yes. Is that what you are about to say? No, I wasn't, but oh. I did know that. It's crazy, hey? Yeah. Um, and then, sorry. Go ahead. They, um, one, they, one person forgot or like, they accidentally put one of the real syringes because they got the real syringes and then took the actual needles off Mm. and then put like plastic ones or whatever. Someone accidentally put it in the wrong pile after they finished the entire like, it was ridiculous. And then they had to take them all out again, right? Yeah. I think I saw that on TikTok. Yep, yep. It took them so long, which I was like, that's crazy. Because I can't remember the number of needles they had. It was something ridiculous. It was like 70,000 or something like that. It's a lot. Yeah. Yeah, insane, hey. But yeah, yeah, I was going to say like with the whole um, like privilege of living and everything, because one of them is she's addicted to like injecting drugs or something like that. Yeah, that's Amanda. And then she like puts her hand, it's like if you really want the uh, antidote, antidote, she puts it in. Then you have to put your hands in and like deal with the pain and then mm. she does it and it's like damn he he kind of did something with that not gonna lie he did kind of did some, ca- that's he, what i'm saying he kind of slayed he did slay we're slaying yeah absolutely <laughs> oh my god um yeah i like i said horror movies <clears throat> if you take them at face value they're okay but if you watch them with the intent of them being scary or anything i'm like eh mm. Yeah, look, I think for me, the only movies that have ever given me, like, I can deal with all the gore and, like, blood and guts and all that, but when it comes to actual spiritual stuff and, like, demons and stuff like that, that's when I'm like, mm. like, The Conjuring? Nah, I'm good. I low-key have a replica of one of The Conjuring dolls at home. Mm. Yeah. I think I've seen The Conjuring, I think. It sits at my front door. Oh. And then I also have like, uh, and I don't tell people this, I have a sensor Chucky at my doll. It's like a motion sensor one. And so it has like a little knife in its hands and it just starts laughing. That's pretty cool. I haven't seen Chucky either, but it's pretty cool. Oh my God. 
Yeah, sorry. It's one of my misfits' favourite characters and movies. But yeah, like the classics, like yeah. Freddy Krueger. Haven't seen Nightmare on Elm Street either. Great. Love him. We love. Ugh. Don't love you. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Basically, anything like the classic, like I, I really do enjoy like, like the cringy classic horror movies that yeah. like, you know, like the Screams, Chucky, Nightmare on Elm Street. Um, what are some other ones that? Silence of the Lambs, but that one's actually a really good one. Mm-hmm. Got to you know rub the lotion on the skin, mm. like that. That's real good. Um, the sores. Yeah, massive, massive sore fan. Which one's the best sore? Oh, I'm gonna go with. I think. I think it's six. It's like the group one. So basically. It's like this guy that like his um he decides who gets like health cover or whatever for like procedures mm. and that's why John put him through the trap mm-hmm. and basically sorry spoiler alert but it's so old if you haven't seen it yeah then that's on you yeah that's on you basically he gets the guy because he declined John's health care because. He was going to die in, like, six months. So mm-hmm. he's pretty much, like, basically, I'm not going to waste my money on you because yeah, you're yeah, going to yeah. die anyway. Yeah. And so um, John gets him and puts him through, like, a saw trap. But it's not just a saw trap. It's, like, a journey. Mm-hmm. And it's, like, a full, like, he has, like, a timer of, like, six hours. And when he gets to the end, he has to, like, make a decision and all of this and that. Yeah, that's when he kind of realises. And he's, like, in each trap you just see him slowly get more and more like i'm sorry i'm sorry like at first he's like ah fuck you like yep. let them go and yeah. then he's like i'm sorry and he's like yeah you know what that guy's a piece of shit mm. anyways that's what he deserved that it one. is that what you're saying he deserved it yeah basically Oof. basically you heard it here first jay loves murder <laughs> um <laughs> 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 yeah um so is it the scary factor of horror movies that you like or is it like the plot of them like do you prefer thrillers or yeah i like i think what it is it's like i love a good scary movie that keeps me on my seat mm-hmm. you know even if it's not a scary like i guess that's more thriller but regardless like scary horror anything i like something that gives me a bit of i want to feel something yeah, you know yeah. like yeah. Um, have you seen um get out no oh it's directed by um jordan peele um, What's it about? So it's I don't want to spoil too much for you, but okay. basically, um, this this guy is dating or uh, this black guy is dating a white girl. Mm. Um, he goes to visit the family, and the family is like all white, obviously. And then they keep like making like weird comments about him, kind of thing. Okay. And then, as it goes on, like his mum's <laughs> trying to like kind of get in his mind and everything. Cause she does like um. Not hypnosis, but like a mind kind of thing. Mm. And then she like, he starts having run-ins and all the workers at their like cottage farm thing are all black people. And he tries to talk to them. He's like, hey. And then they just kind of like look at him and then they just like walk off and that's it. And he's like, that's weird. And then they have a family gathering. All the family come over and they keep complimenting different parts of his body and everything. And then one of the friends there is a black guy and he like goes to talk to him. And he, like, talks to him like a white guy. And he's like, I swear I know that guy. And he takes a photo. And when the flash goes, he, like, turns back into himself, like, the other black guy. And he's like, get out. Get out. And, like, goes up to him, starts shaking him. And then, yeah, I won't spoil the end for you. But basically he has to kill the whole family and burn the house down. Oh, lovely. Yeah. It's a very good movie. It's on Netflix as well. Okay. Watch it. I might watch that tonight. Do it. Nice. Do it. I love a little thriller, scary movie to go to bed, you know, Mm. something really nice and chill yeah yeah we love that we love watching murder and stuff that's like me i'm like crime documentary let's go before bed let's go so to ease my mind let's go yeah that twenty seven thousandth uh female that i've had on the podcast that have said that they love crime documentaries and stuff and i don't get it i love it my missus falls asleep watching them and i'm like how is that relaxing to you well there's like one that like a lot of my friends it's like the toy box um, documentary, but basically, all I'm gonna say is 
he released like he was a horrible guy like he's like yeah I'm, like this was years like forever ago straight white guy yeah yeah straight white guy yeah basically it yeah. i'm onto it but yeah no he would capture girls do horrible things to them but he made a voice recording that he would play to every girl before like whatever he did to them mm. and they released the original voice recording and I've never met anyone who can get through it. Did you get through it? Yeah. I've met someone that can get through it. <laughs> oh. So I got that over you. Yeah. Well, I mean, technically me too. You've met you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's how I... Yeah, we'll go with it. What's it called? Toy Box Killer. Yeah. I'll box. ask my missus after. If yeah. She's yeah. Listening. I reckon if she's into crime documentaries, I reckon. Oh, she is very much into it. Yeah. 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 Well, most people I've met all know about it, but I've never met someone who can, like, listen. Because it's not watching, it's listening. Mm. Because, like, it's just, like, the way he speaks and the way he, like, it's just so casual. Like, it literally is just, like, cool. Mm. Sounds like a top bloke. Yeah. Lovely. Get him on the podcast. <laughs> He's on death row, so I'm sure you'd grab him. Mm. What was his last meal? Don't know. What would your last meal be? Free your tacos. Mm. That's your best your best meal? Beer dish? Your tacos. Yeah. Beer your tacos. So what you explained it to me before, but what what, what uh, does it consist of? Yes, yes. Okay. So it's a long, long process. It's not easy. Like when every time I tell people about it and they're like oh let's make it tonight i'm like brother i need to like prep for this is this what customers say to you let's make it tonight and oh, oh yeah, yeah all yeah, the yeah, time yeah, all good. the time or uh, they'll turn around and be like i'll tell them i'm mexican and they're like no you're not where's your accent where's your accent where's your sombrero oh, fuck. unbelievable in the pocket mirror <laughs> sorry i actually got them in my bag oh there you go cool just in case i thought you didn't bring it up <laughs> yeah look so basically Oh, it's it's something that's so like I get so passionate about it, mm-hmm. but you start with like all your your chilies, your vegetables, your herbs, all that kind of stuff. You chuck it in a pot with all of that. You fry up your meat, put that in, let it all sit there with some stock, some tomatoes, all that kind of good stuff. Yeah, let this meat sit for about mm, I do for the first bit like four hours. Then I take all the vegetables out Mm -hmm. and then I blend the vegetables up. So, like, all the veggies, chilies, herbs, blend it all up and then put, like, the stock with it, strain it so it's got, like, no, like, lumps or anything. And then you put it back in the pot with the meat and then you let that continue to simmer for, like, another four hours. And then once that's just done, you have your tortilla dip. You do a dip dip into the sauce. You, You chuck it on your pan. Just like that. Like, yeah. Yeah. And then you chuck your meat on, some cheese, coriander, onion, do a flipperoonie on each side. Flipperoonie. Flipperoonie. Okay, that just gave me an ick. I just gave myself the ick. Anyways, um, I'm not going to say that. I almost said it again. You dip. Yeah, I'll say it. You do the flipperoonie. Yeah. And then you, you dip her in your consomme, which is the sauce that the meat was chilling in mm-hmm. and then I, I like to be a bit extra fancy and with my consomme Ooh. I put a bit of like onions coriander fresh stuff yeah do a little salt bay yeah yeah basically you dip her in the consomme and oh, just thinking about it right now I'm hungry mm. yeah it's real good I know you're vegan or vegetarian yeah still sounds amazing though oh it's good it's real good mm. i mean i'm sure you can make it with like uh you can get fake fake mints and yeah that like kind of thing, but so it I'm would sure not really it, make it work. would not be the same because mm. i literally had i've had people put it this way i've had people that i've dated that were like either vegetarian or vegan and like my food smells that great they've ended up being like what if i just try buy i'm like i won't tell anyone like it's fine and they try buy it, and then they can't stop, and then I could make you change your mind. <laughs> your the white man in you is really coming out. Yeah, yeah, it but does. You haven't tried the right meat. Mm. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, I mean, like, 
I think I've said on the on the podcast before, but I'm vegetarian because my missus is vegetarian. Yeah. So like my favorite food is still chicken. Yeah. I haven't eaten it in two years, but it's still you, my favorite food. You're like, so I still love me some chicken. Exactly. But what kind of chicken? Any chicken. I'm not a foodie, so my meals used to consist of blend chicken, no seasoning, rice with no seasoning, and broccoli. That's offensive. And that was my lunch and dinner for every meal. Yeah, no. I'm a gym buddy, so mm. that's what we do. So now it's just tofu beans and rice. Tofu. Mm. Tofu's okay. If you cook it right, it's all right. Yeah, I've had some decent, like, because, like, one of my partners, um, she's vegan. Mm-hmm. And actually today um, had a really good, we went on a sushi train date and I tried teriyaki tofu. It was actually pretty good. Good, hey. It was actually pretty pretty good. It's even, um, you know, sushi sushi, like the little pop-up oh, bars yeah. they have. So some of them have the plant-based chicken sushi. Is it good? It's fucking amazing. It's like crispy chicken almost. Um, that's like, it's literally to her. She doesn't even really like it. But I'm like, Lord of the Fries. Oh, I'll mm. eat that shit. Oh, the, there's a Stinger. It's called a Stinger Burger. Mm-hmm. And it's a vegan version of a Zinger Burger. Nice. Have you ever tried Lord of the Fries? No. You should try it. I don't really eat out. So I know, but like, if if you you know you veg, I don't, I don't I'm a, I'm not. Let's put it, I'm not vegan or vegetarian mm-hmm. whatsoever. Mm-hmm. But like, I'm more than happy to compromise with like people, like whatever. That I literally crave that all the time. That's the thing. I think that people that eat meat are scared to admit when vegetarian or vegan things taste good. Yeah. Because they're like, that makes me vegetarian. I'm like, no, you can still like it. Like, it's fine. You don't have to keep eating only that. But, like, you can say it tastes good. Oh, absolutely. Some vegetarian meats, like plant-based meats, taste like dog shit. As a vegetarian, some of them are amazing. Yeah. So, it's just finding what's right. Because, like, it's so good because every time we, like, get food together, because she knows, like, I'm not, like, vegan vegan or veg. And so we're always, like, testing out new, like, things, like, to see if I try it. And I'm very honest. I'm like, that, mm. there's something in that that tastes like shit. <laughs> <laughs> tastes like a pure, like, I mean, a chickpea, babe. <laughs> I'm going to clip that. <laughs> <laughs> Post it on my reels. Like, have you have you ever had um, Varsity, their, like, vegan wings? No, nah, they're Fucking good. Fucking amazing. Now they I want to try it. Okay, I want to try it because I've been wanting to try it. I always look for a good, like, Go veg- double date. And we'll go get vegan wings. Done, done. Let's do it. Uh, I'll be like, babe, we, I've got your, I've got your new favorite vegan yep. place. Because there's this place that she has, um, near hers, and it's like, like a whole. What what do you call foods that are like wholesome foods? So like you know, like comfort if, food. Yeah, like comforty food. So like, there's a place that is near her. They do like mac and cheese, like fried chicken, collard greens. All of that, and it's all vegan, mm-hmm. and it tastes so good, mm. so good. Like I, every time, every time we get stuff, and she's been vegan since she was like eight years old, mm-hmm. so she doesn't really, com- she doesn't have anything to really compare it to. Yeah. But with me, I'll taste, and I'm like, I genuinely would have thought that was chicken, yeah, or beef or whatever. Because you're you're south of the river, hey? Yeah. So in Vic Park, there's a place called, I think it's called Healthy Thai Restaurant or something. Okay. And it's just like a, a Thai restaurant. But every is that the orangey looking one at the front? I think so, yeah, yes. Yeah, I think, yeah. Everything is vegetarian. Yeah. It's all vegetarian menu. Mm. So they've got like um, like pork bites and stuff like that and like chicken chicken um, skewers and all that, but it's all vegetarian. It's all vegetarian. It's fucking amazing. It's a little bit pricey, but... Their food absolutely slaps and would 100% recommend. Okay. So right. you definitely have to go there as yeah. well. Yeah. Me every time, like, now, because, like, obviously, like, I, when it comes to, like, dating people that are vegan or anything like that, I want to be able to be like, hey, like, I want to take you on a date and not be able to be like, oh, where do you know? Or, and I don't want it to just be, like, one of those plain places. Like, even when I'm eating out just normally, I will always check if there's, like, a vegan option if I like the restaurant because I'm like, ooh, I can come back and bring them mm-hmm. here. Because it's hard to find, like, good vegan stuff that yeah. isn't either just absolute processed crap that yeah. literally tastes like yeah, yeah. some plastic piece of ass. It's like um, vegetarian sausages. I can't do them. They yeah. they taste like rubber. Yeah. I don't like them at yeah. all. So, yeah. um, But, yes, food. You love food. You love cooking. You're a foodie. Yes. Nice. I nailed it. You're not. No, I'm not at all. I'm not at all. You're a basic white man. Very recently started putting a little bit of seasoning in my foods. 
little it's bit. It's not that hard. All you got to do is... No, I know it's not hard. Crack a little That's salt, what she pepper. Said, but oh. No, I put salt. I put salt. Pepper. Of no. course you put salt in it. Pepper too spicy. Yes. But that's not the point, okay? Um, yeah, my missus always tells me I need to put some sauce in it or something. But no, no, I just do salt, a little bit of paprika, a little bit of Italian herbs. That's it. That's it. My six-year-old has a better taste palate than you. Yeah. I, I think that most, like, mole rats have a better taste palate than yeah, I fair. do. So, fair. yeah. I, I, I ran over a, um, a quenda the other day. I think that has a t- better taste palate than I do. Yeah. And that ate honky nuts and shit. Yeah, fair. So Maybe you're the autistic one. I just said before, my colour wheel was showing the opposite. So, ha. Huh. Cop that. I think... Uh, I don't, I'll, I don't I'll think message my... Su- my uh, I thought you were going to say, like, me- message the group chat or something that a, a straight white man just told a, a half Mexican woman to cop it. Because that's half gay, Mexican and gay, so that means you're homophobic and racist. Shit. Oh, I've done it now. It's been a good podcast. Um, Cancelled. Shit. <laughs> that's okay. We deal with it. But um, I know you've got plans to start a food truck. Is that yes, correct? Yes, 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 yes. Tell so us about that. What's going on? I started that when, like, what I decided I wanted to do it when I was probably like a very young age. I would have been like thirteen or fourteen, mm-hmm. and. It basically just came, like, I found the love of cooking because I made something out of nothing as a kid. And seeing people's reactions, like, it sounds so, like, corny, but, like, seeing people's reactions, trying my food and, like, just, like, them really, like, being like, wow, this is, like, really good. It's, like, I don't know, it, like, puts, like, a little warm feeling in my heart Mm -hmm. sort of thing, you know, or whatever. (laughs) But, yeah, so, like, and for me, like, bringing authentic Mexican food. So, like, growing up, I was, like, just surrounded by, like, th- th- when I say my typical fam- Mexican family, my uncle's name's Rafael, my other uncle is Julio. Nice. So, put it in perspective. So, very straight, white, male Australians. Oh, yeah, basically. Yeah. Basically. Gotcha. They can't speak English f- at all. Yeah, Australian. No, but they literally, I think I have two family members, my entire family, that can speak English. Mm. That's how Mexican I am. Nice. When people are like, do you speak Spanish? Speak Spanish. Do you Do you speak any Spanish yes, at all? Yes. You do? Yes, yes. Fluent or you speak a little bit? Well, I haven't spoken to my family in like five years, but I was fluent. I don't know about now. So more so than enough to hold a conversation. Oh, like yeah, you, you yeah. could you could live somewhere that speaks Spanish. Yeah, and yeah, fine. and get by. Gotcha. Yeah, okay. yeah, gotcha. yeah, yeah, for sure, one hundred percent. But um, that's why it's funny. The fact that my whole uh, like me lo- my last name, how that turns uh into the whole Mexican mm-hmm. thing. I we was won't like, reveal your name, but no, no, that's my secret identity. Mm-hmm. It is funny that you have the same name as an A-list celebrity. <laughs> yeah. can't, uh, can't, like, genuine A-list. Look, like, she's an icon. She's a fucking icon. And if I don't look like her at her age, I don't want it. I don't want it. And she's very open about all the stuff she's done. Mm. Of course, we are talking about same name here, Olivia Rodrigo. So oh, yeah. That's the one, Olivia. Yeah. Beyonce. <laughs> Beyonce. <laughs> yeah. That's my name. Yeah, exactly. Oh, the say my name, say my name, say my name. Is that oh, the Is that Rihanna or Beyonce? Say my name. That's say Rihanna, my, isn't it? Say my name, say my n- No, that's Beyonce. Okay. No. Oh. I don't know. Yeah, it's Beyonce. Let's go with Beyonce. We'll that, go with Beyonce. Uh, Drake, final answer. No, is it? No, 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 the, the three. Destiny's Child. Yeah, so Beyonce. Yeah. Destiny's Children. Ch- child. The children, the the offspring of destiny. Yes. I so feel, yeah, I feel sorry for your parents. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Most people do. Um, I think my parents feel sorry for my parents. Um, so with the food truck, are there any like solid kind of plans in place for that happening, or is yeah. it still just very much an idea? What's, no, no, no. It's definitely like uh, I was very set on stone, probably at the age like. The idea came up when I was about 13, 14. Mm-hmm. The idea, like, really set in stone when I was 17. 
which I had a very large savings to go towards my food truck. And then I happened to have a little gremlin. Mm -hmm. So that kind of set things back, which, you know, how dare, the inconvenience. Little best friend. Nah, that kid literally saved my entire life and soul. Like, I'm nothing without him. Mm. He is everything to me. He gave me meaning. Um, But yeah, so that kind of, you know, put put a, which is fine. And uh, now I'm like back on that ball game. Yeah. And I've got quite a lot of um, clientele and I've spoken to a lot of people that own their own restaurants and I have a couple of friends that own food trucks and in that sort of realm. So they've been able to help me out a bit with it. Like I already have my truck picked. I already know the things that I need. It's just the funds. Yeah. So once I get there, then we'll be tacoing around. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So ideally, are you thinking this year, next year? Well, What's hopefully by the end of the year. Okay, cool. End I'll keep an year. eye out for it. Yeah, end of the year, early next year. Going to have vegan options, vegetarian oh, options? I have to, absolutely. Because then I'll, then I'll come It'd support it. Be. But otherwise, I'm going to fucking throw eggs at it. Yeah, I'm going to throw You got it. egged. By egg. Exactly. Ah, ha, ha. Ah, ha, ha. I love eggs, but they make me shit. Anyway. um, <laughs> <laughs> I really do, though. I was having this conversation. The only way, the reason why that came. I'm so autistic. That's the okay. way that I was, like, <laughs> talking to my friend about it this morning. We went out. Okay, two of my, it's fine. We got breakfast, had something that involved eggs in it, which is great. Love egg. I love it. Oh, thanks. I, I love me. <laughs> anyway, yeah. I love me a poached egg, a scrambled egg, fried egg. Mm-hmm. Look at that. I'm a bit of a fried egg myself, yeah. to be honest. <laughs> How do you have your fried eggs? Sunny side up. You are disgusting. Continue. I'm dipping that. I'm dip, dip. Damn, that's crazy. Still disgusting. Just sunny side up. See? Jay's friend is here, by the way. Hi. Hi. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so sunny side up. Where was I going? Eggs. You, you were having break. Yeah, eggs yeah, for yeah, we, we, yeah, yeah, we talked about it. And when I say not even five minutes after I consumed those eggs, do I learn? No. Mm. No. But yeah, just thought I'd do that. It's a little bit like me. I'm fructose intolerant, so the sugar that's in fruit. Yeah. I, it like destroys me. So if I have like a dried apricot or something, because mm. dried fruits are higher in um, fructose, mm. if I have one of those, it's like having like 16 laxatives to me. Like I will have them and run to the toilet mm. and I paint the walls of that toilet. That's basically me with eggs. Yep. But I don't love- eat me then. <laughs> <laughs> no, please don't. I don't like cannibalism. I'm really not about it. So. <laughs> yeah, look. But there's no seasoning, so. Yeah, you're, well, and you're a man, so... True, true. This Does, is true. Doesn't work. Yeah, doesn't work. So if you had to rank eggs, scrambled, fried, <laughs> poached. Poached all the way. What's what's the other one? Scrambled, but you, don't, you just said you don't like runny eggs. Scrambled, fried, poached. What's the other one? Boiled. Rank them from best to worst. Poached. Scrambled, because I make the meanest Mexican scrambled eggs. Oh. Fried, boiled. Boiled at the bottom. How did you just give your opinion and still get it wrong? How's that possible? Who puts poached first? Are you joking? Um, delicious. Have you not had a good That's, poached yeah, egg? I have. Still not better than any of the other three. Oh, absolutely. That's insane. No, egg, eggs Benedict. Don't even. Don't even. A bit of smashed avocado on the toast. Poached egg. Oh, do you, do you have an extra six hundred dollars laying around for the smashed avo on top? Do you? Let me hit up old mate Mike. I'm, I'm looking. <laughs> I'm look. I'm looking forward to this double date now because uh, someone's got the funny money oh, for the smashed avo. Oh, Fun little life hack for you on the topic of smashed avo. If you ever want smashed avo and you don't have the budget for it, mm. go to Subway and get the avocado toasty. And if it's a young young worker that's clearly like in high school, say, oh, can I get tomato on top, please? Because they're not supposed to, but they don't know that. So they put tomato on top. So you get smashed avo for four bucks. You know what I actually do? That actually is quite funny because there's at my old job. So I used to work at 
Well, it doesn't matter because the DFO is massive. But I worked at the DFO in a oh, store. Nice. A DFO. And I worked there for years. And so they basically get to know you, you mm -hmm. know, when you go into the food court. There's literally like four different options. And I would always go to Subway and I'd get like, you know, the $4 jaffle mm. you can get. Yeah. And I would go there and I'd ask them though to add tomato, no, onion and tomato. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure it was that. It was it was onion and something that didn't come along with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, like, I'll pay for it. And then like they would always just like, yeah, no, it's fine. You work here, it's mm. fine. And like I'd always make sure I wore my lanyard to be like, yep, see, I work here. <laughs> like, like an art teacher when they just have all the like chains and stuff. Yeah, hanging yeah, and just yeah. Like, I just like the the jaffle and it's just. Yep, the jaffle, please. <sighs> please. Yeah, <laughs> nice. But yeah, basically, so I'd go there, order that, and I remember like. They would always just like put it through, even though they're not meant to. And this one time I was there and there was like a new person who had not seen. I was like, and I told them, I was like, yeah, can I get my jaffle with blah, blah, blah. And they turned around, they're like, no, I can't do that. And I was like, you, you, I, I've been, I've been coming here for the past. You can catch these hands. Yeah. So I was like, yeah. I'm finna to catch. I was like, <laughs> My little tism ass, I'm like, we'll change, different, what? <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like this, just add my onion and tomato. Yeah. <laughs> Please. Please, my I'll, belly. I'll literally pay the extra <laughs> dollar. Yeah. Turns yeah. out, um, didn't end up getting, they continued to say no. So I continued to, continue to get the, the toasty, which then I, Loki, had a little meltdown and just put it straight in the bin. Mm. Continued to get disappointed. Just as always. Yeah. Constant disappointment. Just come. It stems from my mum. It's like me with my mum. Constant disappointment. Yeah. It's me. So. Mm. We out here. Well, I'm technically a disappointment to my entire family because not only did I have a child at 17. <gasps> I'm a... Well, I don't know if I can say that. <laughs> We're all adults. Are we? I mean, the yours, you're the one. I'm older than you, so. This is true. What year were you born in? They're older than you. Yeah, you freaking baby. 1897. Crazy. Who would have thought? <laughs> Crazy. So you were around when cars first got invented and stuff then. So <laughs> <laughs> Leave this little flower alone. <laughs> my apologies. My She's apologies. just a baby. I'm just a baby. I'm just a baby. I'm just a Baby. I was born in 2000. You, you finna to catch the, exactly. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. That's like uh, child. Pre yeah. child labor. Yeah, that's okay. That's, fine. that's what I do anyway. Um, on to the last thing before we get into the rapid fire questions. Mm -hmm. You got some ocean conspiracies, hey? Oh, don't get me started. Don't get me started. Don't I'll give you about 15 minutes to rattle them off because. I'm just going to say space is scarier than the ocean. Well, no, it is not. <laughs> I'm, just no, it is. I'm just kidding. Okay. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Kind of. Okay. I don't know. See how easy it is for cis men to rile me up? Yeah. That's what I do. Mm. I, I just shit stir. But yeah, so what is it about the ocean that gets you so intrigued and what are your thoughts on everything about it? Disgusting. The fact that, okay, not let's just like not talk about the depth of the ocean. We'll talk on the outside of it first. Mm -hmm. Sand? Yuck. Does the sand count as the ocean, though? I feel like it does, because it's, like, in the ocean. So it, like, it comes is, out of the ocean. But aren't you talking about, like, the the shore? Yeah. That doesn't count as the ocean. It does. No, that's well, the shore. Well, the shore's a part... That's like saying that your front, front, front yard is part of your living room. That doesn't make sense. Exactly. They're, they're separate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're such a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I am, but still. <laughs> Wait, I'm just making this up as I go, guys. Surely it's, it's not. We'll pretend. Surely. 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 <laughs> anyway, yeah. So the sand. Okay. Yeah, no, that that's disgusting. Overstimulation central. Sand should be not go in places sand ends up in. Mm. No. it's And it gets on everything. There's no matter how many showers, how much you dust yourself off, but get your, your car... There's always going to be sand. You're always going to so, find it later. Nah. Yeah. It's a no. For, even thinking about it, I'm like, ooh. Mm -hmm. If I feel one grain of sand in my bed, it's over. Mm. It's over. Can you imagine two grains of sand? Oh. Nah. Now, let me Done. propose this to you. Three grains. 
grains of sand. And that's an odd number too, so that even freaks me out even more. Oh, no. 69 grains of sand. Oh. Yeah, and no. Yeah, we don't like a 69. Mm. No. Okay. Ocean. 7% being discovered. Mm. What are your thoughts on old mate? Um, old mates on the submarine that went fucking... What do you mean, what are my thoughts? Yeah. Are they still alive? No. Duh. <laughs> so what do you mean, what are my thoughts? Like them going down. Bit like silly. Silly? Yeah. Fucking idiots. But also, it was funny. It wasn't kind of, it was kind of funny. People like stressing and worrying about like, oh, they're suffering. They're running out of oxygen. It, w- it would have they, taken them a second. Yeah, they did like the science behind it. And they're like, nah, they would have been like power out. Oh, what's going on? And they're just <laughs> black. I'm That's not supposed to laugh. Like, <laughs> okay, look, like, what gets me? It's not funny. It's funny, but it's not funny. It's not funny. It's That's not why we're funny. laughing hysterically. It's not funny. We don't <laughs> laugh about the fact that millionaires or billionaires, whatever they were, decided to make a submarine, control it with a joystick or something, <laughs> and then their life just but flash and gone. We don't laugh about that. It's not funny. <laughs> no. It's not hilarious the fact that billionaires tried to do something creative and ended up. Turning to blackness. <laughs> no. It's not funny. Not funny. No. Not at all. <laughs> anyway, what else is not funny about it? The fact that the <laughs> they, all I can imagine, right, because I was talking about this to my friend yesterday, they would have been in the submarine just like, yeah, chilling, like, ooh, we're going to go see some cool stuff. And they would have been like, oh, the lights, what's going on? But Yeah. <laughs> Just like, gone. There would have been oh, like no no panic or anything. Yeah, it would have just, just been like, oh, what's going? Done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's done. Oh my god, the lights. What? What just happened? Oh. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm God. Um, just this way. Thank just you. The this gates way. are this oh, way. Oh, you're a f- going down there. <laughs> <laughs> They're billionaires. What are you talking about? It's fine. Like, never. Yeah. Oh yeah, true. Never. True. True. No. Never. Wait, so you're saying gays can't be billionaires? That's exactly what I'm saying, because gays don't manipulate like that. Homophobic. So you're saying that gays are manipulators? They are. Okay. They are. to me. <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm telling you now, I've been on both spectrums and I feel like... Bro, you've been gay. on more than just both spectrums. There's oh, another spectrum. Oh, yeah, I'm on, on a lot of these spectrums. I'm on a few, actually. Yeah. Basically, though, I feel like... I, th- I feel the same way, to be completely women, honest. Women, yeah. or not women specifically. Specifically. That one. Indian Oceanly. Yep, Indian Oceanly. I can't say the word, all right? Give me a break. I'm just a baby. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. <laughs> um, oh. um, thought gone. That's okay. So that was a really good rant about ocean... Ocean like, see, how the hell did see it? Ma, I'm so bad. That's why you need to, like, be like, no, stay on subject. I told you this. I can't. My eight, yeah, see? Don't why are you putting that on me? I, I can't keep it. your you podcast. Track. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> you do make a good point. But, yeah, I think when we had the concept, I was telling you that, like, I'm not so scared. The ocean, I'm not a big fan of it. I'm not mm. so scared of it. But it's that, like, gigantophobia or whatever it's called yeah. where it's like seeing massive things in comparison to other things and it just makes my stomach drop mm. it's the same with space like looking at the size of like these stars that they're finding in comparison to our sun and our sun's like that big and this star's this big and then in comparison to the sun we're like this big so i'm like cool so if that star just goes then we're just going to be like the people in the submarine basically basically just bang and we're gone. gone yeah it's insane. So I don't like, but it's the same with like these giant like ships and stuff like that. Mm. Looking at those in comparison to like a human, it's like not a big fan of that. I really don't like that. Well, for instance, when you think of like a mermaid, what do you think of? Like, what do you picture? A cis white man. Um, <laughs> um, in in what sense? Uh, Just like like hypothetically, mermaids are real, right? Okay. What would you, like, if you were to see a mermaid, what would you think it? I mean, I feel like just based off, like, um... Like what? Like the like, tail, the little shell. Like grass. cartoons and stuff, they perceive it as, like, yeah. a woman with long hair and then the bottom half is, like, a fish kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. See, like, I'm a massive, like I said before we even came on to here, I believe in a lot of, a lot of stuff that a lot of people are like, you're whack, like... 
what what drugs are you on? Mm-hmm. I've watched a lot of documentaries. I've watched. I've I've dealt dealt. I've dove. 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 That one. Into that, <laughs> I got you. Don't yeah, I? yeah, easy, cool. You're picking up what I'm putting down. Yeah, exactly. So sweet, exactly. we're good. Language barrier. Yeah, yeah. there we go. go. Two ADHD, yeah. one autistic, one undiagnosed autistic. There works. Yeah. Um, the like theories of it. Basically, I believe in them, but I believe it's like it's not like this pretty mermaid thing like it's a siren for instance like the i think what kind of also have you seen the siren like it's i feel like show. i watched a tiktok thing and it was talking about sirens i was like i don't it's know what based this is in australia I, too i looked into it and i couldn't find anything so i don't know it's on no. stan it's on stan it's based stan. <sighs> sorry i've only got binge and netflix oh, see i mean i've got everything and ko but okay lovely yeah but yeah basically and that's how, like, I should have known. Like, I have all these, like, real big, like, hyperfixations, like, my horror stuff, the, like, sci-fi, not sci-fi, fan. What's the word for, like, mythical creatures? Mm-hmm. It's, like, mythical stuff. Um, What's my other thing? Coraline. Yes. Coraline. Love Coraline. Also have not seen. Yeah, sorry. Coraline's my favourite. I literally watch that every single night. You watch Get Out, I'll watch Coraline. Deal? Deal. 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 Is it on Netflix or anything or am I going to have to do some Binge. It's on Binge. You have Binge. Gotcha. I'll watch it this weekend. Done. Yes. And then I'm going to quiz you on it. When we come back for another episode. Yep. Gotcha. I've got, I know every single conspiracy theory, but I know how many people it took to make that movie. I know how long it took. Is it, is it animated or is it? Claymation. Gotcha. Okay. Claymation. Right. That's why I love it so much. Fun fact, it took 500 people to film it and it took over five years for them to film it. Nice. Like effort. literally one of the jackets, like jumpers, sweaters, whatever, that Coraline's wearing took a lady eight months to sew with two little needles. Good effort. Right? Yeah. I was like, solid effort, babe. Mm. You done well. You, d- you did done well. A man could never. No, not with those fucking fingers. Man's can't do nothing with those fingers. I know, bro. <laughs> Dude, I yeah, fair. Um, I ordered a ring from Statement Collective mm, the other day. Yeah. And guess what size ring I had to fucking get to fit on these fat fingers? Oh, you want to go like, like a, cause mine are like all eights, and I've got pretty small fingers, so I'm probably gonna go like a. 12? 13. Close. Yeah. I know, I know a ring size. Yeah, because in letter size, because I went and got that one and that one um, checked at like a jewellery store. Oh, yeah, you're getting that one checked. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Well, that's other hand, but yeah. Oh. I've already given her the ring. I'm, oh, yeah, you're I'm, engaged. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, I'm waiting on mine for wedding day. But this hand, we've got size T and size X. I was like, are you fucking joking? Why? Why? Yeah. But in saying that, there's some really cool jewellery stores online that only do really big sizes. Mm. And I'm like... I ended up getting anyway. I got a necklace and a, and a, um, a ring. So oh, okay. Nice. Happy days. They're not here yet. I literally got... my. I got bullied. My brother used to call me French Five Fingers. You've got piano fingers. What's a piano finger? Like, good for playing piano. Like, skinny. Yeah. I don't. I've got sausage fingers. I've got tiny hands and small fingers. So... Yeah, happy days. Anyway, again, ocean conspiracies went really well there. So what's a siren? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was, like, looking at it. I was like, mm, I can't wait. What am I going to do for my finger tattoos? And that's, what, that's where my brain just went. <laughs> what are you going to do with your finger tattoos? Um, five, four, three, two, one. 